Hey guys, quick back Mr. Basics here. Let's talk about discovery of auxins. Auxins were discovered by Charles Darwin when he was trying to study phototropism in plants. Phototropism is a phenomenon in which the plants bend towards the light. He did his experiments with oat coleoptile. When the growing seeds of oat were observed carefully, he found that only the tip of the coleoptile shows bending towards the light. If the tip is removed, no bending is seen. So based on his observation, he concluded that there is a chemical substance in coleoptile that causes bending towards the light. In 1913, another scientist did an amazing experiment using oat coleoptile. He placed a thin impermeable barrier like a blade at the left side and the other at the right side of the tip. The light was then incident on the tip from the right side. He found that when the impermeable barrier was placed on the right side, the tip shows bending towards the light. And when the impermeable barrier was placed on the left side, no bending was seen. This experiment shows that the chemical substance that causes bending is a diffusible substance. This substance moves away from the light and it might also be possible that it might be destroyed or inactivated by light. However, at this stage, the exact mechanism by which this chemical substance caused bending was still not clear. So by 1928, scientists did a series of experiments to find the exact mechanism by which this chemical substance cause bending. In one of such experiments, the tip of the coleoptile is removed and placed on the piece of agar. Because the chemical substance was diffusible, it was assumed that it will diffuse easily in the block of agar. When the agar block is placed on the cut coleoptile, the coleoptile shows growth. And this was a beautiful observation. The chemical substance was causing growth in plants. Now here comes a very interesting part. If the agar block is placed on the left side, then only the left side of the coleoptile will show growth. Now, as a result of this uneven growth, it will appear that the plant is bending. Okay, now there were still few questions that were unanswered in the previous experiment. Does the light inactivate or degrade auxin? or it causes auxin molecules to move away from the bright region. To answer these questions, the following experiments were designed. The tip of the coleoptile was taken and placed on the block of agar. The block of agar is divided into two parts using an impermeable barrier. The light is then incident on the tip from the right hand side. Now both left and right agar blocks were taken and placed on the one end of the cut coleoptile. The agar block which was taken from the left side showed more curvature as compared to the agar block taken from the right side. This observation indicates that the auxin actually moves away from the light. 
Now let's talk about the function of auxins in plants. Auxins play an important role in phototropism and geotropism. Phototropism is a phenomenon in which the plant moves towards the light, whereas geotropism is a phenomenon in which the root moves towards the gravity. Auxins play an important role in root growth and development. They have role in apical dominance. This means the axillary buds of the plants do not grow into branches in presence of auxin. And they also have an important role in growth and development of roots.